it's very important to bear in mind that when you take a cow piece, Africa produces 96% of the global production of cow peas. A cow peas are actually affected by weevils, Maruka. Maruka is a big problem uh, uh, that actually infects uh, cow peas. And you can lose a lot of the crop uh, from that infestation. But the technology for BT, which is um, resistant uh, to that particular pest, uh, can actually help a lot in saving all of the cow peas. And secondly is cotton. Don't forget that when it comes to cotton production, um, many African countries produce a lot of cotton, but they export a lot of cotton. Um, but the problem they have is a lot of uh, problems with uh, pest, uh, uh, insect pests with cotton. And so what the BT technology will do is essentially allow you to deal with these insect problems without having to use a lot of pesticides. And so first and foremost is that the level of use, the quantity of use of pesticides will go down. Second, the frequency of use of pesticide use will go down. The cost of use of pesticides will go down. But the impact is also found in the health of farmers. You see, when I, many years ago, I was working in Cote d'Ivoire in the northern part of the country, uh, which is a cotton zone. And we found that farmers were spraying a lot of pesticides on their cotton fields. And then I conducted a study through a PhD student who worked with me to look into the impact of that on their health. And so we took blood samples and we did a lot of analysis. And we found out that these areas where they overuse pesticides, you have a lot of you know, kids scratching their faces, a lot of diarrhea, you have a lot of uh, uh, aches and pain and stuff like that. So some of the benefits of this technology is not just the impact on productivity, it's also the positive externality impact on the improving the health of, uh, of the farmers because they don't have to use a lot of uh, pesticides. And I think that you've seen openness, greater openness on technology. You know, my, my own view is that it is not ideology that feeds people. It's technology, it's science that gets people fed. And we just have to have responsible science, make sure that we have a way in which we can have regulatory systems that allows us to make sure that um, uh, you're dealing with uh, the issue of consumer interest, consumer health, consumer safety, environmental safety, those issues continue to be quite important. But if you look in Africa today, uh, there is something called the water efficient maize for Africa. The water efficient maize for Africa, it's a drought tolerant crop of maize that will give you great yields, even in the presence of drought. And in a situation where we have in Africa a lot of drought situation that leads to farming, drought doesn't have to lead to farming if you have the right technologies in place. And the water efficient maize for Africa that's drought tolerant is one of those things that will um, really make it happen. And so I think that those are the things that, that are very important. Now, as opposed to whether technologies are imposed or not, we just finished a session today, just before coming here, where we uh, um, working together um, on something called the Technologies for African Agricultural Transformation. They are technologies developed by Africans ourselves. But we're just tired of the technology sitting on the shelf. And so we want to take a technology to scale of tens of millions of farmers. So the African Development Bank um, is developing this with its partners, the Alliance for Green Revolution in Africa, uh, whose president is here, uh, with the World Bank, uh, with the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, uh, with the Rockefeller Foundation, uh, as well as uh, several other partners that are working with us on this. Our goal is basically make sure that the technologies to feed Africa, they are there. We don't have to look for them. They are there. But we want to get them from where they are, to the hands of our farmers. As Dr. Bollock said, take it to the farmers. And we want to make sure that technologies get to the, to the farmers. So these are all technologies that Africans themselves, national institutions, regional institutions, have developed. You know, and as president of the African Development Bank, I recognize that we have to rapidly raise the productivity of agriculture in Africa if we are going to be competitive in the world. And that's why we're given this, this big push. So it's not from the outside. These are our technologies within Africa, and we want to push the scale.